In Britain, there are a wealth of unique habitats, each one with its own distinct collection of species and interactions. These sites contribute to processes on a global scale, and therefore their prosperity is vital. I'm exploring one ecosystem that's a hotspot for diversity and is currently under threat. Walking through this woodland, you can feel that spring is in the air. Leaves are emerging, birds are calling, life is exploding. I've come here to one of the legendary Merionith Oak Woodlands in Wales to collect data to see just how healthy this ecosystem is and to consider the perils it may face in the coming decades. Known locally as the Celtic Rainforest, this habitat is part of the Atlantic Woodland, which stretches up the west coast of Europe. Because of its westerly location, this band sees an extraordinary climate. Mild winters, cool summers and large amounts of rainfall, meaning that it's the ideal location for a temperate rainforest. These small areas dotted around Wales are relics of much larger woodlands that once thrived on the land. And despite their current fragmentation, they still contain the vestiges of species that once dominated this landscape. These isolated remains contain species not found anywhere else in Wales, making them highly precious habitats. To reach a stable climax community like this takes hundreds, if not thousands of years. But changes to the wider environment around can disturb this ecosystem. Interactions that normally happen between species start to alter and the intricate web of processes unravels. These habitats hinge on a delicate balance of connected processes and cycles and the pressure from climatic change is upsetting this equilibrium. This is a global issue as once stable ecosystems are starting to show the signs of the burden they bear by either deteriorating in health or by vanishing from the land altogether. Wales is the least wooded country in Europe and given the significant ecological role trees play in global systems Protecting woodland habitats and researching tree health is a priority. I want to find out how the Celtic rainforest ecosystem is being affected and predict the future for these special places. So to begin with, I need to monitor the status of health in this habitat. Since many ecosystem processes and the organisms that fuel them occur within the soil, I've been taking soil samples in order to get a rough idea of the ecosystem health from a biological perspective. In recent decades there has been a significant decrease in oak tree health and we're seeing more and more cases of acute oak decline. The research that we're doing here is aimed at improving our knowledge surrounding the conservation of these incredible habitats and also of the land management practices we use. Many factors are known to contribute to a decline in oak health, but amongst them is a disease known as oak powdery mildew. This fungal disease doesn't kill the tree directly, but it may indicate that an ecosystem is under stress. We've had a look at the samples under the microscope and one of the key things that we noticed is that there is a huge abundance in different groups of organisms. The key question that we are asking is whether an increase in the occurrence of pathogenic fungal species like powdery mildew are an indicator of an ecosystem under stress. In a healthy ecosystem, we would expect to see both pathogenic and beneficial organisms but the concern is, in the future, when the trees and ecosystems are already under a degree of stress, is that they will then succumb to the pressure of disease much more readily. This research project is looking at measuring tree health, not just as an individual organism, but as a product of the wider environment. This whole system approach hopes to redefine health not by the lack of disease, but by the presence of a resilient and resistant ecosystem. For example, if you imagine a tree is like a castle, without defenders, this castle can easily fall. But with a strong, resilient army, this castle is much more capable of resisting attack. 
In the case of a tree, the army is the microbial community. If we see a tree succumbing to disease, it flags up that the tree's defence system is failing. And we can then ask why? What other factors are there in the environment that is putting stress on this ecosystem? Using methods of DNA extraction, it's our aim to identify species such as oak powdery mildew to find correlations between occurrence of disease and overall ecosystem health therefore enabling informed decision-making in order to safeguard these precious habitats.